The Hubble Space Telescope, a joint project of NASA and the European Space Agency, has been an astronomical game-changer since its launch in 1990. It orbits above Earth's atmosphere, capturing stunning images and collecting data across the electromagnetic spectrum. Hubble's high-resolution images have unveiled the wonders of the cosmos, revealing distant galaxies, nebulae, and other celestial objects in unprecedented detail. Its observations have deepened our knowledge of the universe, from confirming the accelerating expansion of space to determining the age of the universe. Hubble's contributions include unraveling mysteries about black holes, dark matter, and the formation of stars and galaxies. The International Space Station, a remarkable feat of international collaboration, is a habitable space station located approximately 400 kilometers above Earth's surface. It serves as a unique laboratory where astronauts conduct various scientific experiments and research in microgravity conditions. The ISS hosts a diverse range of studies, including biology, physics, astronomy, and human physiology, contributing to advancements in space exploration and improving our understanding of living and working in space. This multinational space project involves the participation of multiple space agencies, including NASA, Roscosmos, ESA, JAXA, and CSA. Olympus Mons, located on Mars, holds the title for being the largest volcano in the solar system. It is a colossal shield volcano with an estimated height of about 22 kilometers, making it nearly three times the height of Mount Everest. This massive volcano stretches approximately 600 kilometers in diameter, encompassing an area roughly equivalent to France. Its size is attributed to the lack of tectonic plate movement on Mars, allowing the volcano to build up over time without being disrupted. Voyager 1, launched by NASA in 1977, holds the record as the farthest human-made object from Earth. After a journey spanning over 40 years, it has reached interstellar space, where the influence of our sun's solar wind diminishes. Voyager 1 continues to explore the unknown, transmitting valuable data about the space beyond our solar system. It has provided remarkable insights into the outer regions of our heliosphere and the interstellar medium. Despite its great distance, Voyager 1's communications still reach Earth, allowing scientists to study cosmic rays, magnetic fields, and plasma density. The mission of Voyager 1 serves as a testament to human ingenuity and the never-ending quest to understand the cosmos. Nebulae, these celestial wonders, are vast regions of gas and dust scattered throughout the cosmos. They come in various shapes and sizes, from colorful glowing clouds to dark, dense formations. Nebulae serve as cosmic incubators, nurturing the birth of new stars. Within these stellar nurseries, gravity causes gas and dust to collapse, forming protostars that eventually ignite into brilliant suns. Other nebulae are remnants of stellar explosions, like supernovae, where massive stars end their lives in magnificent bursts of energy. The study of nebulae unveils the intricate processes of star formation, stellar evolution, and the recycling of matter in the universe. UY Scuti is a fascinating stellar behemoth, boasting the title of the largest known star in the universe. This red supergiant, residing in the constellation Scutum, possesses mind-boggling dimensions. With a diameter estimated to be over 1,700 times that of our Sun, it is a true cosmic giant. UY Scuti's immense size is a consequence of its advanced evolutionary stage, nearing the end of its life cycle. Here is UY Scuti seen from a theorized planet, and here seen from 300 astronomical units away. Despite its colossal proportions, UI Scuti's luminosity is relatively low, 
suggesting that its outer layers are cooler than other massive stars. Exploring the characteristics and life cycle of UI Scuti provides valuable insights into the evolution and dynamics of massive stars. Honeybees, scientifically known as Apis mellifera, are remarkable insects that play a vital role in our ecosystem. They are known for their ability to produce honey, a delicious and nutritious food enjoyed by humans for centuries. Honey is not only a natural sweetener, but also offers several health benefits. It is rich in antioxidants, enzymes, and minerals, and has antimicrobial properties. Consuming honey has been associated with soothing coughs, improving wound healing, and providing relief for allergies. Honeybees collect nectar from flowers, process it in their bodies, and transform it into honey through regurgitation and evaporation. This incredible process makes them the only insect species that produces a food source consumed by humans. The human brain is a marvel of complexity and functionality. With approximately 86 billion neurons, it is the command center of the body, responsible for processing information, controlling bodily functions, and generating thoughts and emotions. The brain's intricate network of neurons allows for the transmission of electrical signals, enabling communication and coordination within the body. It is also incredibly energy efficient, consuming only about 20% of the body's total energy despite its immense computational power. Studying the brain is a fascinating field of neuroscience, unlocking insights into cognition, behavior, and the mysteries of consciousness. Wolves are incredibly adaptable predators with fascinating behavioral characteristics. They have a sophisticated social structure, forming close-knit family units called packs. Within the pack, they exhibit a cooperative nature, sharing responsibilities for hunting, raising pups, and defending territory. Wolves are highly intelligent and possess a keen problem-solving ability. They also display a remarkable ability to communicate with subtle vocalizations, body language, and scent marking. Furthermore, they have a strong sense of loyalty to their pack members, often exhibiting deep emotional connections. These remarkable creatures play a vital role in maintaining ecosystem health, serving as a keystone species that influences the abundance and distribution of prey species. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, is a fascinating world with unique characteristics. It is the only moon in our solar system to have a dense atmosphere, primarily composed of nitrogen with traces of methane. This hazy atmosphere creates a thick orange-brown smog that obscures Titan's surface from direct view. The moon's surface is covered in lakes, rivers, and seas, but instead of water, these liquid bodies are composed of liquid methane and ethane. Titan's frigid temperatures, low gravity, and organic-rich environment make it an intriguing target for scientific exploration offering insights into the early Earth's conditions and the potential for life beyond our planet. The Sahara Desert is the largest hot desert in the world, covering an area of about 9.4 million square kilometers. It is almost as large as the entire United States. Stretching across North Africa, the Sahara's vast expanse is characterized by its scorching temperatures, limited vegetation, and expansive sand dunes. However, despite its arid and inhospitable nature, the Sahara is not completely devoid of life. It is home to a diverse range of plants and animals that have adapted to survive in its harsh conditions, such as the resilient desert fox, Dorcas gazelle, and date palm trees. Sugar. Sugar is produced from sugar cane or sugar beets through a series of steps. For sugar cane, the process starts with harvesting and extracting the juice. The juice is then clarified, filtered, and concentrated through evaporation. Crystallization follows, where sugar crystals are formed and separated from the liquid. 
The resulting raw sugar undergoes refining processes, including washing, filtering, and recrystallization, to remove impurities and create different sugar types. Finally, the refined sugar is dried and packaged for distribution. The entire process aims to extract and purify the sucrose content, resulting in the sweet granulated sugar we commonly use in our everyday lives. Let's talk about 